Hey everybody, welcome to the Trout Hawk channel here. On a fine December day, my goal is to take this tree down. It kind of leans over my neighbor's house here. And what I'm doing is I've got a bag that I made from a, an old sock and some sand. And I'm going to attach it to this spinning rod and try to throw my sock right up in the notch of that tree right there, right up in there. Once I get it up and over that tree, then I'll be able to attach it to a larger rope and run my big pull rope up in there. Then uh, we're going to lever it over with a rope and cut a notch and pull it away from the house and down. So stay tuned. I've had two failed attempts already and lost socks with sand in them already. There's one of them that I attached to a paracord. And there's my second one, got caught up in that gnarly part of the tree right up there that uh, I'm having trouble focusing on. But anyway, I've lost two socks already. Took me many failed attempts. Couple of lost socks and numerous breaks of the monofilament line and actually one good shot that I had it up in there and I tore it out. I wasn't too happy with the, the way I thought it was gonna be. But I got the sock attached to the monofilament up and over and through that crotch. Now I just have to tie my rope on to the monofilament and run my rope up through that crotch, then I'll tie a running bowline in it and run it back up. Then I'll be able to do my leverage from afar um, out, of the, out of harm's way of the falling tree. Um, my motto when I started trying to do this, this is probably the hardest part of the whole thing, is trying to get that line up into that crotch. And I told myself I wasn't going to quit. Um, I was getting a little bit frustrated, but I got it. After numerous attempts throwing the monofilament with the little bean bag through that notch and then trying to attach the orange rope directly to the mono and trying to get it through that notch. And it didn't work. Finally, I just got frustrated and left it for the afternoon and evening. Came back the next morning, threw the first shot up into the crotch, exactly like it should go, attached a smaller piece of running line, some paracord to the mono, ran the paracord up through the notch, and then attached the uh, paracord to the, my, my good rope, and so now I have the rope strung over here to my pickup. And I have it attached nicely here with my ring. I have my pickup sideways so it's not going to pull. And I have it attached to my ring. This is an alpine butterfly knot that I tied in here. And then I ran the line up through there and I have some leverage. My friend will come and cut and hopefully the tree will fall this way. If it doesn't, I'll have some problems. Well, I'm going to put some pressure on this line on the tree while he cuts the notch. And then if it's, if it's safe after I cut the notch, after you cut that notch, we'll um, film what the notch looks like. Okay, my friend cut this notch. This is a beautiful notch. <laughs> um, except for that part right maybe there, but yeah. otherwise it's nice and flat all the way across and these two join each other just like they should. And um, here we go. Alright. 
couldn't have been any more perfect. Wow. That was ideal. That just fell exactly like it should. Finished product for one tree. Now we're working on getting the line up through the next tree here. I've got my mono thrown through there with my fishing rod set up. Tried running this rope up through there in those branches and it got caught on the end. So I got smart and used my nail knot tire. Just tied a nail knot with the mono to the to the rope. We'll get this little rope up in the tree and jockey it around, break some of the little branches, get that big rope attached to it and break any more branches we have to and we'll have it right up in the notch where we need to be, which is right up there. Well, this one's a super leaner. She's leaning way the wrong way here. So we're gonna have to work a notch and wedges and we're gonna really have to put some torque on our rope. Got the same rope set up here. And uh, I don't know, I'm almost kind of wondering if I shouldn't double it just to really get some torque on it. I don't know, but uh, that thing's leaning bad. But I think if we get her spun over here, I'm not too worried about any of this stuff in the foreground between us and that trailer, but I am worried about that trailer, but I, I really think we can pull it. Right now he's cutting the notch. He's got his notch cut. Right there. Showtime boys. Let's do her. Oh my god, that was scary. Yeah. It's probably, I bet it's been five minutes since we dropped this thing and I'm still shaking. I, I got a, an adrenaline rush out of this deal. Uh, as good as going hunting. Thanks for watching those shenanigans. I want to give you a little recap of what happened here. I'm by no means a tree faller or an arborist by any means. A friend of mine who is helped me and told me kind of what to do. So I think one of the hardest parts about this whole project was throwing the little um, bean bag that I made. I took a sock and put some sand in it and made it just the right size. And I tried throwing it up attached to a piece of paracord by itself, kind of slinging it up into the notch and that didn't work. And lo and behold, I. Uh, was looking for something else and I found a fishing rod that had some good heavy monofilament on it and I thought well this will work perfect. So I tied my mono onto the sock and lo and behold I was able to cast it up and get it up into the tree just right. And so finally I ended up uh, after trying to tie it directly to the rope and pull the rope up in there I finally ended up tying it onto a piece of paracord and then the paracord to a rope and that's how I got it up there. Um, I threw a running bowline knot on the rope and, and ran it over to my pickup and uh, put it on a ring of my front of my pickup, parked my pickup sideways. Then I tied an alpine butterfly knot in the rope and ran my line back through that to give me a maybe a little bit of a leverage and two to one pull on it and pulled and pulled this first tree over perfect. The second tree did not go the way I wanted it to. It didn't follow the notch at all. And it landed um, way more to uh, the one side, and although it didn't fall back the way it was leaning towards the house. So I was pretty happy about the whole thing, but it was a total adrenaline rush. And my other friend who used to cut a lot of firewood was the guy running the saw. And he's pretty handy at cutting the notches. And he uh, was the guy that uh, ultimately ended up cutting and while I was pulling over. I'm not an arborist and um, I've just cut trees and 
and screwed around with cutting trees and I like to burn firewood. But if you like this kind of thing, thanks for watching. And I hope you subscribe and hit the like button on it. Happy New Year.